Good evening and welcome to our third episode of Forecast from Flagstaff. Thanks for joining us here tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure doing these episodes over the last month. Been loving the feedback we've been getting uh, from parents. I was in the YouTube chat actually before we went live here and parents were already chattering in there and students. And Sherry, thanks for the positive feedback. Um, I'm definitely smiling. You can't <laughs> see it with a mask on, um, but I, I am smiling. Thank you. We're loving doing these. Uh, my name is Chad Eikhoff. I serve as director of admissions here at Northern Arizona University. And here we are live in the beautiful W.A. Frankie College of Business for tonight's episode down on South Campus here. Joined with my, me is my colleague, uh, Annika, um, joining me today. Thanks, Chad. As Chad mentioned, we have truly enjoyed spending these Wednesday evenings with you. My name is Annika Olson and I serve as the Vice President of Enrollment Management here on our beautiful Flagstaff campus. If you haven't had the opportunity to check out our previous episodes, don't worry, they're all online if you've missed one. Simply go to nau.edu slash forecast and you can check out all of our previous episodes. As always, as Chad mentioned, we've already seen questions coming in on the YouTube feed. Keep those questions coming. Giovanna from NAU TV is keeping a pulse on those questions and is going to sh uh, shoot those to us in just a little while. Another resource we have queued up for you is our nau.edu slash jacksareback website. So that's on your screen now. That is breaking down all things what oh we, we have we have a surprise guest here hey louie <laughs> our favorite lumberjack has joined us today love Lu the mask yeah hey louie that's a nice mask <laughs> so louie is modeling some of the perfect lumberjack behavior by wearing his mask inside when we're not able to fully socially distance and we're going to have all students faculty and staff wear masks as well when you can't maintain social distancing. One of the questions that's already come in is, do I need to wear that mask in my residence hall room? And the answer is no. If you're in there with you and your roommate, you can take that mask off. That's really your family unit. We're treating that just like your family now. And I'm betting most families don't aren't wearing those masks inside. Louie, excellent mask role modeling. Thanks for joining us. So today we're breaking down all things classroom and NAU Flex. What is this approach and how do I access it? So it's all thing, things in the classroom. But as a tradition on all of our forecast from Flagstaff, we are going to, Chad's going to tell you what the weather is here in Flagstaff. Louie, why don't you help him out with that? <laughs> Thanks for joining and helping with the weather. Uh, 78 uh, is the temperature high for tomorrow, going up into the 80s through the weekend. Absolutely beautiful weather, super sunny here. As I'm looking at this forecast, I think I've decided 100% I am going camping this weekend. Nice. Um, I, I am going to get out there. Great time of year to be doing stuff outside here in Flagstaff. As Annika mentioned, we are doing NAU Flex and really breaking down the classroom experience. And to start us off with that, we're going to hear from NAU's president, President Rita Hartung Chang. Let's take a look. I think the key word here is flex. Uh, we're following all the CDC guidelines and, and, and matching that with our culture, which is a, a lumberjack a can do culture. We expect that students will be physically distanced appropriately in the classrooms um, and in person with uh, the faculty, uh, but also able to access from another room or from their residence hall or from their homes, depending on their family situation and their own personal health. The need for us to, to be able to manage a highly fluid uh, situation with flexibility and with determination will uh, create, I think, experiences for students that they will want to uh, embrace and they will see that it, with their complex lives, this allows them a much deeper learning opportunity and flexible learning opportunity than they had before. Welcome back. So great to hear from President Chang on the critical approach of NAU Flex. Joining me now is Dr. Steve Burrell, our Chief Information Officer on campus. 
Steve joined us in Flagstaff four years ago and has worked tireless, tirelessly to improve the technology experience for our students, faculty, and staff. So thanks for joining me, Steve. Annika, thanks for having me today. It's such a pleasure to be on your program. Great. Well, let's start off with just an obvious question that I know you've been asked probably hundreds of times since we announced the use of NAU Flex is what is this NAU Flex technology? Great, we're, we're so very excited about NAU Flex technologies. We've been working, as you said, very hard to bring modern technologies to all 400 campuses across the state. And most recently, we've been adding some of the most innovative components to connect our students, faculty with each other from these classrooms. Tools like uh, AV, um, uh, advanced um, cameras and audio processors that provide a very immersive experience for students to feel like they're in the room with the faculty member. We've also been adding uh, state-of-the-art systems, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Collaborate, all these great software components that allow students and faculty to collaborate together. We've also been adding innovative integrations, making these tools easy, simple, and seamless to use. And, and then finally, adding 24-7 comprehensive support to help our modern teaching methods and our faculty uh, be very effective in the classroom. Great. Well, Steve, I know there's um, hundreds of new students and their parents joining us. So as they're planning their return to campus, do they need to buy any new hardware or load any additional software to fully participate in their it's, campus experience? It's a great question, Annika. And here's the good news. Uh, today, uh, all you basically need to participate in NEU Flex is an internet connection. And we have excellent internet service here on the Flagstaff campus and at our community college uh, community sites. We also, uh, a student really only needs to bring that modern Windows or Android or uh, Apple device that they have, probably the, maybe the one they got for graduation. Nice. And including phones, a lot of our students are able to access a lot of their learning content simply on these modern phones that are out there. We, we finally, I would just suggest that, you know, for a private experience and, and focused one, uh, earbuds or uh, headphones or something like that are always kind of um, useful, you know, for students. And uh, just know that uh, NAU provides all of the software that students need. So Microsoft Office to all these components I've talked about, all are accessible and downloadable from the NAU website. Awesome. And I know that support is so important. I know when something happens on my computer and I don't know what to do, my <laughs> first call is to the service center at IT. Yeah. So can you talk about the student support if they run into any problems? Sure, that's, that's another important part of NAU Flex is the ability for our students to access 24 seven support. Any question they have, that thing that happens, you know, that they didn't plan on, help loading software, overcoming maybe the occasional virus that they get. But also, I think parents and students will be relieved to know that we offer hardware repair services through our Klein Library location. And we offer that free of charge to students. So if anything happens to break, you know, while you're here on the Flagstaff campus, uh, we're able to fix and, and move forward. So lots of online, virtual, social information that students can tune into. But the key thing is we're here and we're being flexible to help students be flexible. Nice, so great. Okay, so we've talked about the NAU Flex technology, what students need or don't need to bring to campus and how easy it is to access. What other technologies are critical for students to use and tap into um, as they start their NAU journey? Sure, there's, uh, in the interest of time, I think there's one thing that I would share uh, with students and even parents can download the NAU Go Smart App. Uh, NAU Go provides a personal digital assistant to help navigate our campus, the services, learning, um, living on campus, all the kinds of things that students are gonna wanna know and do, including updates on COVID related things that are going on on campus and the advice that we're giving. So check out the Apple Store, um, the uh, Google Play Store, and look for NAU Go. Download that app, and I think that would be greatly enhancing your uh, campus experience. Awesome, and I have it on my phone. I always get those alerts. So very, very helpful to have that. Um, so students and parents, you can download that and interact and, and be kept up to date on what's happening on campus. That's right. 
Steve, thanks for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. So along with Steve, another expert that has been working on campus to really make NAU Flex a huge success is Dr. Gayla Stoner. She's one of our vice provosts, and we, um, she wants to share some information with you now. So let's hear from Gayla. First of all, your experience should be absolutely the same regarding quality and outcomes of the course. Be very clear about that. We developed it specifically for students to be able to participate in the coursework during their Louis scheduled regular class times, right? So it's um, different from online in that way because students will participate on ground or if they're from a distance, they will participate during the same class time, which we thought was very important for our student experience. Our faculty um, will engage with students in what we call active learning opportunities. Um, and they will happen on ground in the, in the traditional classroom as well as remotely. So just to give you an idea of how this will work, um, group work, as you know, is a common assignment uh, within classrooms. And so group work within the traditional classroom experience will happen again in the same way that it would in that students would discuss core ideas and engage in exercises and then present materials and ideas to the class. In the same way, students participating remotely will be grouped so that they can have online discussions, come up with engagements, questions, and prepare a short summary to share with the class. Again, a little bit different in the actual concept of how that will happen via technology or on ground, but, but it is the same outcome, right? Same experience and immersive experience as well. Welcome back and keep those questions coming in the YouTube chat. We are making note of those and are going to try to get to as many as possible tonight. Joining me are two more experts who stopped by the WA Frankie College of Business um, to answer some of those questions specifically regarding the NAU Flex approach. So joining me is um, our Associate Dean, Dr. Laura Bounds. And as of today, in his new position, Dr. John Jorgis, who is our Vice Provost of Academic Affairs. Thank you both for spending some time with us. Absolutely. So one of the questions, as I've been talking with parents and students over the last handful of days, has been, can my student stay at home and still participate in their classes using NAU Flex? And um, John's going to tackle that one for us. I'm going to give it a shot. So we, we have heard that question a lot. Um, and first, I just want to start by saying that the entire campus community uh, has been working for months uh, to try to make our on-campus environment be as safe as possible for students uh, and still preserve uh, that amazing in-person um, learning opportunity uh, that uh, we offer our students and that our students really value. Uh, now, that said, um, there, we understand that there are different circumstances in students' lives that may require them to explore the option uh, of attending through NAU Flex, but in a fully remote way. Uh, so what we're working on is to try to identify those options for students. Our enrollment management team, our university advising team are standing by uh, to receive those requests from students um, and to really explore what options there are. Uh, at the end of the day, it's going to depend on a student's program of study, uh, where they might be in their curriculum, and really what kinds of courses are they taking. Some of our courses are more easy to participate through fully remote NAU Flex. Other courses are a little bit trickier. Um, so what we're really working to do is uh, identify those options. Uh, as I said, our, our staff, uh, our awesome staff are standing by to help students with that. Uh, and our faculty are working to create more of those options for students. Awesome. So definitely, um, we know we've also heard from students and parents that they want to have that campus experience. So we're definitely providing that, it, albeit in a slightly different way, with bit. some masks and social distancing and, and some different things. But if I have to stay at home, there are some options to explore. Absolutely. How, how would a student start that exploration process? Absolutely. Uh, so one way that students, they can reach out to us with uh, the student service uh, telephone. 
uh, and just call uh, and start exploring those options in that process. Um, there's also an online form that we've created just for this purpose. Um, it's available on our nau.edu slash nauflex website. Uh, on that website, you'll find a set of frequently asked questions uh, and you'll find a link to an online form uh, linked off of those frequently asked questions. Uh, that'll get the ball rolling. Uh, and as I mentioned, one of our enrollment management or university advisor team members uh, is going to jump in and help those students explore what options there are for them. Great. So the second question that I've heard mostly from parents has been like, how are you preparing faculty to really fully make sure this NAU Flex approach works for my students. So Dr. Bounds, can you go ahead and take that one for us? Yes, absolutely. So for the past month, we've been offering numerous trainings in a couple of different formats and webinars, as well as facilitated online workshops that last an entire week. And we have had a huge interest in this. In fact, almost a thousand of our faculty members have uh, voluntarily elected to attend these. And that really shows our commitment to the student success in the fall semester. Um, so we, we look at forward to uh, rolling out many more of these in the coming weeks. Great. We are going to kick it over to Giovanna from our NAU TV team to look at those questions and, and share with us what's been asked. Giovanna? Yeah, Annika, so I have a really good question here. Um, Ashley would like to know, what if a student does not have an iPad, laptop, or computer? Oh, great question. Dr. Bounds, I think you can take that one. Sure, absolutely. So our client library does have a laptop loan service and students just need to go to the library and request uh, a laptop loan. They check them out for three days at a time, but you can uh, return it and then check it out the next day. So this is a great option for students in those situations. So great to serve those students that, that may not have that device or don't want to use uh, their phone, right. which most, most certainly have. Giovanna, what else do you have for us? Another good question here I have is, are, is tuition and fees still the same with NAU Flex? Great question. Another one that parents have asked um, very frequently. And the good news is, is that our tuition structure is one that's tied to your campus and your program of study. So most of you joining us are Flagstaff students. You've applied and been admitted as Flagstaff st students. So the good news is that with NAU Flex as an additive to our classroom experience, your tuition and fees remains the same. So they, it will not go up. It will be the same. Great question. And one more question I have here is, will classes still begin on August 12th? Great question. Classes are due to begin on August 12th. Also my mom's birthday. Those of you joining us last time heard that. Um, so it's, it's etched in my brain. But what if um, a student has a job, maybe they're working in Alaska and ha didn't plan to come back until our original start date a little later in August? John, what would they do? Um, so the same form that I mentioned uh, earlier for the full remote participation option um, is that same form that students can use to let us know that they'll be delayed in their arrival um, and we will work with them. Great. Excellent. So we're going to take a short break and hear from one of our faculty that are already using that NAU Flex technology, Dr. Sarah Abercrombie from the College of Education. Let's take a look. So what do I like about NAU Flex? Um, one of the things that I like about NAU Flex is that it gives us a sense of certainty for the fall semester. We know that students, no matter if they're online or face-to-face, -face, will have access to our materials and that they'll be able to receive high quality instruction. Um, when we use NAU Flex, we are guaranteeing that no matter what happens, students will be able to receive their education in the fall semester. Lots of great questions coming in. I was watching the feed while I was off uh, camera, um, but we want to make sure to touch on a couple of questions before we get to your live questions that have been kind of themes that we've been hearing over the last couple of weeks since our last episode of Forecast from Flagstaff. Annika, can you talk a little bit about off-campus housing? Sure. So if you're a student that signed a lease off campus at one of our nearby apartment complex, a majority of those complexes have moved their move-in dates and shifted for our early start of August 12th. 
So, as my mess slips down, I'm gonna keep that on there. So, those properties have asked us to share with you, if you do have a lease and are curious about your new window of move-in time, to go ahead and give your property a call to make sure um, your apartment is available and your space is available when you're anticipating it. So the takeaway is go ahead and give your uh, apartment complex a call and they are willing to work with students, which of course just is very um, illustrative of the great um, town and community we live in. Absolutely, and I wanna to touch a little bit on on-campus housing uh, as well. Uh, we did ask for alternative housing uh, interest from students uh, last month, and we are working through that information, the data we collected um, in that survey. But uh, we will be communicating in the days ahead, uh, weeks ahead um, on that. But we want to be very intentional with that plan. We don't want a student to be uh, switched because they expressed interest in alternative housing and then have to move them to a different room. So we're being very intentional in that rollout. And as far as students that don't have a housing assignment yet, and I saw some questions coming in in the chat about that. Mm -hmm. If you applied for housing late, we will be getting you housing still. Uh, we just are working through some of that other stuff and being intentional with some of those students and then making sure to get you in an assignment by the end of the month. So uh, we will continue to work through that and again, be very intentional with that. But housing is available and we will get you in a room. Uh, Giovanni, do you wanna give us some questions that have uh, come in from the chat? Yeah, absolutely. Mark asked um, a little bit about parent orientation. Can you touch on that a little bit for him? Yeah, absolutely. So it's up on the Parent and Family Services website. You can link into our uh, parent and family orientation option. And with that, I think the question that we, we, we've seen before is, is it the same as the student orientation? Uh, we have geared it specifically for parents. So we've looked at what information is most pertinent to parents, and we've included that within that parent session. So. Highly recommend any parents tuning in uh, to be checking out that parent orientation. Great. Awesome, and another question I have here is from Amanda, F Amanda Fulkerson. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, she would like to know how many masks will be provided to students and what is the rec recommended amount that they have? Great, so NAU and your welcome kit is gonna be providing two cloth masks for every student, faculty and staff member whether you're at a statewide site or here on our main Flagstaff campus. Also in that care kit is gonna be some essential COVID information, some hand sanitizer, and for students, a thermometer. So you can do those daily checks. We'll be providing two masks for you um, because they do need to be washed. And um, as a parent of a recent graduate, I know laundry isn't always top of mind and may sit there for a while, so plan that you'll be receiving two new masks when you come to campus, but you may want to plan accordingly to make sure that they're washed. Got it. And one more I have here is um, when do they need to submit their Jax card photo? I would say for that as soon as possible uh, to submit that Jax card photo, uh, nau.edu slash Jax card, and you'll submit that. And doing that ahead of time is really going to help us out to get all those student IDs printed before you come to campus and assist with that distribution piece there. So encouraging students to get on there as soon as possible and submit those Jax card photos. And that Jax card is going to be key in getting you to um, the, in the dining facilities. And after your initial check-in will be your key card to access your residence hall after you've moved in and then gone in and received that Jax card. So get that photo in as quick as possible. So I think we're at time for today, but we want to plug our parent chat that we've got coming up. So we're doing parent chats on the off weeks of forecast from Flagstaff. So next week, July 8th, we're going to have a, a parent chat that parents are going to be able to join in and ask questions. We had great attendance for the last one we had and lots of great questions coming in. So looking forward to that again next week. And those questions, we know we don't get to all of them. The last parent chat, we had about 600 parents joining us. But I know you and myself and others have been on the phone with parents, um, ch chatting with them and answering their additional questions. Shout out to my family in Austin, <laughs> Texas. Um, and they also help us develop the content for future episodes. So keep those questions coming. Absolutely. And our next episode of Forecast from Flagstaff then, two weeks from tonight, we're looking at July 15th at 5 p.m. 
And that one, we're gonna be focusing on the student experience piece. And I know a lot of questions coming from students or families having some concern around how am I, how's my student gonna get connected on campus how in this COVID environment, and, all of yeah. that. Yep. So we wanna unpack all that for you July 15th on that episode of Forecast from Flagstaff. Um, but until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, keep the great questions coming. Great, go Jacks! Go Jacks!